Getting an award of this nature is a serious accolade. It is an accolade that is matched in many other parts of the world, and particularly in the Commonwealth. But it is a special event. It is an event that recognises determination, commitment, perseverance, compassion, and also that contribution to our society, which is, is very special. Our Royal Honours system is steeped in history and tradition. From 1848 to 1975, we were part of the British base system. The highlight of the 1953-54 Royal Tour of New Zealand was an investiture ceremony conducted by a young Queen Elizabeth. It's a gala day for the capital. At the town hall, the Queen honours 130 North Islanders. First, the Chief Justice, the Honourable Harold Barraclough, for services to law and public bodies. He rises Sir Harold Barraclough. The former commander of the New Zealand 3rd Division in the Pacific Theatre of War, equally distinguished in civil life, receives insignia of a Knight Commander of the Order of St. Michael and St. George. Until the present royal tour, these ceremonies had never before been filmed. 2,000 guests look on as Mr. Bruce Levy of Palmerston North, who has done as much as anyone in the world to make two blades of grass grow where one grew before, receives the accolade of knighthood. Sir Bruce Levy. The awards nowadays are presented at either Government House Wellington or the Governor-General's Auckland residence for those receiving accolades in the Upper North Island. A fully Indigenous honours system was adopted in 1996 when the New Zealand Order of Merit was introduced. Participating in the investiture ceremonies, as I do, is the singular most important event that I run as a Governor-General on behalf of Her Majesty. It is important because I am able, on behalf of all New Zealanders, to both recognise but also thank extraordinary New Zealanders, outstanding New Zealanders for what they have done to make our society a better society. Our highest award is still the Victoria Cross, awarded recently to Corporal Willie Apiata for extreme bravery under fire rescuing a wounded comrade in Afghanistan. The Order of New Zealand comes next with its ordinary membership restricted to just 20 living persons. Then the New Zealand Order of Merit, which has five levels, with men in the top two levels called Sir. Dames and Knights Grand Companions. Dames and Knights Companions, Companions, Officers and Members. And the Queen's Service Order and Queen's Service Medal designed to recognise community and public service. New Zealand's honour system also includes a series of gallantry and bravery awards. I think it is important that you know, we, we acknowledge and celebrate the people in our society that do make a contribution, that do show that there is something special about helping others because that's what most people are recognised for, you know, whether that's in a singular act or in a, a series of, of commitments to the society that we live in. I think it's really important. The awards are presented by Her Majesty's representative in New Zealand, His Excellency, the Governor-General. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, warm greetings to you all and welcome to Government House. I would like to specifically acknowledge Mr David Seymour, MP representing the Government and also the Right Honourable Dame Jenny Shipley, the former Prime Minister of New Zealand. Tēnā kōru. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, it is an absolute delight for Janine and me to welcome you all to Government House this afternoon for this investiture ceremony. What makes this occasion special both for Janine and me and for all of us gathered here is that this is an opportunity in which we can acknowledge a group of individuals for what they've done 
to enrich our country in a variety of ways. Those being honoured today have rendered outstanding service to the people of New Zealand and therefore to the Crown. And it is appropriate that they are acknowledged in this way. Ladies and gentlemen, I have the authority and also the privilege on behalf of Her Majesty the Queen of New Zealand to hold this investiture ceremony for her and to confer the honours to which each recipient is entitled. I invite you, once the recipients have received their honour, to join me in acknowledging and thanking them for their service to our country. Without further ado, Mr Hewitt Humphrey will summon the recipients and read a citation for each person. Good. Your Excellency, to receive the Queen's Service Medal, Mrs Kath Hansen of Auckland for services to historical research. Mrs Kath Hansen is an amateur historian who has researched the contributions made to New Zealand's bicultural history by the descendants of Captain Thomas Hansen. Captain Hansen was the master of the brig Active, which brought missionary settlers to Hohi, Bay of Islands, in 1814, and whose children were New Zealand's first permanent European settlers. Mrs Hansen began researching the Hansen family in 1968 and organised the 175th anniversary celebrations of the arrival of the first family. She helped organise the construction of a scale model of the brig Active and the erecting of a Hansen memorial at Marsden Cross Historical Reserve. Excellency, the investiture is concluded. Ladies and gentlemen, distinguished guests, an investiture ceremony is a special occasion that I hold on behalf of Her Majesty, the Queen of New Zealand. It is an occasion at which I am able, on behalf of Her Majesty, and indeed on behalf of all New Zealanders, to recognise and thank an extraordinary group of people for what they've done to make ours a better society. It is important that we acknowledge and celebrate the people who make a contribution to our society. People who show that there is something special about helping others, whether that's in a singular act or through a series of commitments. Receiving an award of this nature is a notable accolade. It recognises determination, commitment, compassion and the contribution to our society that each individual has made. To you recipients, we have been privileged to hear your stories. You've set fine examples which inspire, encourage and motivate others. In your own way, each of you has promoted something which is important to we New Zealanders. The ceremony this afternoon has recognised people who have worked in our communities. They've worked tirelessly to ensure that we have the advantages, the protections and the facilities, both material and intellectual, to achieve our potential in the field that we choose to pursue. This they've done in education, philanthropy, in the arts, business, sport, surf life saving, historical research, genealogy and for services to the judiciary and into our Māori communities and for the deaf and to the care of disabled people. Ralph Waldo Emerson, the American essayist, poet and philosopher, had wise words to say about personal achievement when he said, What is success? To laugh often and much. To win the respect of intelligent people and the affection of children 
to earn the appreciation of honest critics and endure the betrayal of false friends, to appreciate beauty, to find the best in others, to leave the world a bit better, whether by a healthy child, a garden patch, or a redeemed social condition, to know even one life breathed easier because you have lived, this is to have succeeded. To you recipients, your vision, your character and your commitment has brought us together today. Your contribution has enriched the cultural, the social and the economic fabric of Aotearoa New Zealand. And so on behalf of Her Majesty the Queen of New Zealand and all New Zealanders, I congratulate you on your achievements. You're pre I've, I've got some other words to say before you all use the applause, please. Uh, look, ladies and gentlemen, we're almost to the end of the formal part of the ceremony. Um, there are a couple of things that I would like to do. Uh, firstly, given that you've preempted me, we have already acknowledged and thanked and congratulated the recipients individually. Join with me again and we'll congratulate them collectively. <laughs> I don't usually say much other than, you know, that's it and we will go out. But there is uh, a person in the room who I would like to acknowledge today. Um, you are benefiting in terms of this ceremony because there has been a group of people working behind the scenes, as you all have had people working behind the scenes for you, but there has been someone working behind the scenes uh, to put this together. Uh, that person, that lady is uh, one of our staff, uh, Jackie Salambongi. Jackie is the person who many of you have probably had an interaction with, you know, negotiating how many people you can bring along, you know, which dates that you're going to come to. But I just want to acknowledge you, Jackie, for your commitment and your service for these uh, investiture ceremonies. And finally, uh, before... <laughs> It's not often that I can get one over on Jackie, so. <laughs> one to meet him. Um, ladies and gentlemen, before uh, I invite you to come forward and join those you're here supporting, um, I ask that you stand and join with me in singing our national anthem in Māori and in English. <laughs>